Hey guys, this is No Solution. I'm Scott, and today I'm doing an unboxing again. Uh, I got a gift from uh, Kim at This Is Music. I'm assuming it's Kim because it's the name is Kim and it's from Denmark. So uh, we'll do that. And in honor of Kim, usually I have to get these open first, but uh, Kim is the master of the awkward unboxing, so I'm going to do that. And while I do, I'm going to talk about an experience I had over the weekend. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the app Whatnot. It's kind of live auctions. And they go super fast. Like the the one I was in was nine, nine seconds. If somebody bids, it re, the nine seconds resets. But a lot of them just go super fast. So it's very impulse buy. And... Uh, Sorry, I'm very awkwardly, very, very awkwardly unboxing this still. But uh, Garage Geek had been talking about it and kind of warned everybody that how how dangerous it was. But I got on there, just looking around, and I saw somebody was selling, just to keep with the, uh, with the perv theme of my channel, uh, somebody was selling old Playboys. I had a bunch of, I, kind of a decent Playboy collection, when I was younger, and uh, it was at home in my bedroom at my parents' house where I didn't live anymore. Uh, one weekend, my parents had uh, hosted like a church camp, like some kids coming over to uh, to visit the church for the weekend and do whatever activities they were doing. And one of them stayed in my bedroom, and I didn't notice until few weeks later that uh all the playboys were gone so it's always kind of burned my ass so there are a few issues that i kind of wanted back and this guy you know it's um he had these just tubs full of playboys i don't think he knew what they were worth or anything he was just selling them starting at three dollars and so he put one up and the bid would start and you know so i'm watching and you know had a couple cocktails and was was just kind of having fun watching and then i see one of the ones i wanted so bid on it got it got to pay shipping of course so the first one was a little expensive the first one added up to like seven dollars or something well then the shipping goes down so then i'm watching oh there's another one i want so i got that one and the shipping goes down again then i got another one then the shipping goes down again now it's free so now in my head is oh i'm not even paying shipping and these are three dollars a piece like they're basically free so anything i want i should probably just get right well, the insidious part of whatnot is you're not filling a cart. Every time you buy something, it's linked to your PayPal. So every time you buy something, it just charges you right away. So you don't see a total. You're just seeing, you know, oh, PayPal charge three, $7 or whatnot. Then, you know, $5, then $3. So I'm just on there having a good old time. It was fun. Um, and it was fun to win all this stuff. And I had no idea how much I had bought until the next day. And then I got my receipt from the dude of, you know, your, you know, here's, here's what you bought and your ship, your uh, package is going to go out. It was a lot. It was way more than I thought I spent. So just a public service announcement. If you're on whatnot, maybe jot down what you're buying. So you got a total running because if I knew how much I had racked up, I would have got out of there, but I did not. So I got a box full of Playboys <laughs> More than I wanted, but anyway, we're open. So, um, oh man, awesome. So these are, yep, from Kim. Little real note on there. Not nasty, but still enjoy. I it doesn't have to be nasty. I can enjoy things that don't have tits on them. Aurora borealis, nice. Prophecy is the mold in which history is poured. I am vaguely familiar with them. I think I had something a long time ago that may have been a promo that i got rid of but yeah definitely have heard good things so i'm very excited to listen to that thank you kim sarcasm stellar stream obscured i actually do have this i'm a kind of an old school sarcasm fan but uh yeah very fun album and I'll, i uh will be passing it on to somebody uh who i think will enjoy it so thank you kim cemetery echo i do not know these guys at all uh, it is called Come Share My Shroud. Goth and Roll Death Rock from the Tombs of Buffalo, New York, Fields of Nephilim, Idle Hands and Danzig Eat Your Heart Out. Well, that sounds like it's something I'm going to really enjoy. So 
Thank you so much, Kim. This is from uh, Petrichor. I do not know that label. And that's what these next three are. All right. Sarut. And it is it appears to be self-titled Intoxicating, Energetic, Experimental, and Emotional Black and Hardcore from Tempare, Finland. Sounds interesting. And I don't know if that's an acronym. WSOBM. And it's called By the Rivers of Heresy. See, this is, I feel stupid just reading you the freaking hype sticker, but I, I, I honestly have no idea about this. Like, the first two I kind of knew. Dark Romanticism captured within black and melodies and, and black and metal and haunting melodies for fans of Cradle of Filth, Primordial, and Satyricon. Sounds like something that I could get into. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Kim. That is a, a, a fantastic gift, and uh, I really appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that is it for the video, guys. So be careful on whatnot. That's all I'm saying. Um, for for music, I haven't found much. I'd been on there before and kind of ducked out pretty quick. It's a lot of like Goodwill Greatest Hits CDs and whatnot on there. But you hit the right room, and there's not that many people in there bidding, and you can go crazy. So that is all for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. And as always, CM Punk is a piss baby. Later.